Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Glennon Cameron here with The Corporate Citizen, and I want to discuss the five high income skills that you need as a collective. Here on the internet, you'll see people, you need these one, one these one, this one high income skill, this one high income skill. And that, that's a fallacy because I'm going to give you my perspective from being a six figure office, commercial office furniture salesman. And I'm going to give you these five. You need all five of them. You just have one. You can make some money depending upon what your business is. And I will give you a breakdown. So the first high income skill you need is the ability to get attention. And we're going to put this in the same tier as number one. It's two different things. What's number one? The ability to get attention and two, the ability to find qualified leads. That is huge. If you can get attention, and I'm going to give you an example. If you can get a lot of attention, you can make a lot of money on social media, YouTube, if you can get a lot of attention. Finding qualified leads. Let me give you an example of what I was doing that didn't get me qualified leads. It got me a lot of leads, but they weren't not qualified. I put my phone number on this YouTube channel and I, and I was like, if you are a business owner, call me for a free 10 minute consultation, right? So I had every Yahoo weirdo, like, yeah, I got a website. Many people who thought they were business owners but they had no revenue coming in. So they really didn't, they were looking for free information to help them get started with their business. They were not already in business. So let me give you an example of a qualified lead. This is someone who has the capacity to buy what you're selling. If they don't have the capacity, they may want it, they may like it, uh, another part, aspect of a qualified lead is a person who can say yes. You might actually, and this is something I did a lot in the beginning of my sales career, is I would spend a lot of time talking to people who could not say yes. And it was just a waste of time because I would sell them, they would like me, but they could not, they were not the final decision maker. So you, you want to get attention and you want to get a qualified lead that is the final decision maker someone who has the money to buy what you're selling and someone who would say yes. So that's, uh, that right there is an art unto itself. I got started off cold calling for Rent-A-Crate. And what I would do is I would pick up the phone and I would call all these companies. We had a list of prospective companies to call. And I actually went <clears throat> a few steps further and I actually joined a networking group. There was five of us and we would share leads. Uh, I got some juicy, juicy leads out of this. So that's the first thing you need to do. And once again, by itself, without these other high income skills, um, you know, they're not gonna really work. So the second thing you need to do is the ability to set an appointment. Now, if you get attention and you get a qualified lead, but you don't know how to set appointments and you don't, and like setting appointments is very quick. Hi, you know, my name is such and such. This is what I sell. I want to talk to you. Boom, boom. Literally most of my appointment setting phone calls were 30 to 50 seconds. Because essentially, you don't want to try to sell during the setting appointment phase because you could be easily interrupted. Their phone could ring, the secretary could walk in, all kinds of stuff. So that's not the time to sell. So you want to, the ability to reach the decision maker and to set an appointment. The third thing you need is the ability to tell a story or create a presentation. So this is something that I struggled with in the beginning because I would get, you know, I got really, really good at finding the qualified lead. I got really, really good at setting the appointment and it fell apart when I got the meeting and I started trying to pitch them. It fell apart. It completely fell apart. 
And I had to learn there is a rhythm and cadence to your presentation. There's the opening, there's the body, there's the close. And once I got my sequencing correctly, uh, sometimes I would just go in and I would not go into the sale immediately. It, it's kind of like making love. You got to have a little foreplay before you get to the main event. And once I learned that my, you know, and we're going to talk about other parts of the high income skills collection, the collective that you need, I started to get more sales. I started to close more deals, which brings us to, you know, this is the third thing. You need the ability to present, to tell a story, to have your sequencing on closing your deal. Fourth high income skill you need is the ability to close, AKA ask for the money. And this is something that I found out about six months in that once I went through my presentation, if I simply said, well, we're here, what can I do to earn your business? And that right there was kind of halfway effective. I was like, okay, so here it is. This is how much it's going to cost. And I'm going to need your signature right here. And I'm going to need a check. Once I started to bluntly ask for the money, my closing ratio went through the roof. Just boom. I remember one time I was selling this couple some stuff and they were like, well, honey, what do you think? What, honey, what do you think? And sometimes as a salesperson, you have to make that decision. And I was like, okay, all right, guys. So here's the deal. Here are the numbers. Uh, I need you to sign here and I need a check. And it's like, okay. So you, you once, you know, there, there's other little parts of this that I'll be talking about. But once I ask, learn to ask deliberately and overtly for the money, boom. That's what I do here on YouTube. If you notice, I was like, join, get in the, um, our, the corporate papers. And I ask for the money and I make sales every day because I ask for the money. See, I'm about to go a little left here. Um, it's like when you're dating for a woman, if you have the balls, I had a friend, his name was Brian Flowers. Shout out to Brian Flowers. Brian Flowers, he was another soldier at Schofield Barracks in the 25th, 25th Medical Battalion. And Brian was very, very bold. Brian would like literally walk up to a chick and say, hey, you want to fuck? Just like that. And, he like, and you, you would think he would be slapped and it's like, no. Okay, and you go to the next one. Hey, you want to fuck? And I've literally seen Brian do this in a club, and he never got to five women. He would go boom, 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 and he would get what he wanted because he asked exactly for what he wanted. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, you cannot be afraid to ask for the money. You cannot be afraid because this is where this collective of high income skills come into play because there are many people on YouTube that will tell you, you just need this one high ticket skill. And let's say you're really good at closing. You're gonna close what? Where are you gonna close? Where are your leads coming from? So as a outside salesman, I had to one, get attention, and two, get leads, qualify leads, three, present. I had to learn how to present and tell a story. And four, I, I had to learn how to ask for the money. And this fifth high ticket scale income producing skill that no one on YouTube ever talks about is asking for referrals. If you go through a solid sales training program, they will ask you, they will tell you, they will teach you to ask for referrals. So after I did a deal and I wouldn't ask for a referral, you know, after I closed, I would go back to the customer after the deal was done and they were happy and I was like, do you know of anyone else that needs these services? If you could think of anyone and I would literally do this, like, could you do me a favor? Could you call them right now? 
to see this is what happens. In sales, you're, you're dealing with a lot of resistance, right? But when someone says, hey, I've got Glendon in my office, he's just done a wonderful uh, deal with getting your office furniture, you should talk to him. 50% of your work is done during that phone call. Number one, you're being introduced. You're not like a cold call. It's like you're being introduced by a trusted friend. And they're like, oh, okay. And then get them on the phone and set the appointment right then and there. And if you do that, your closing goes once again, once you establish all of these closing skills and you get that referral thing going, man, that will literally, that was one of the reasons my first year selling commercial office furniture, I did 120. And when I started to ask for referrals, I did 360. That one little change, because I had the, the ability to get the leads, I had the ability to present, I had the ability to ask for the money, I had, the ability, I had all that stuff going. And once I started to add referrals, my sales tripled. And the thing is, it took way less effort. Because see, once you understand the psychology of this, it's mind blowing because when, once again, I'm about to go a little left. If you have a girl that you're having sex with and she tells her friends that, well, John can really bring it. <laughs> it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. It's like, oh, really? Well, let me, let, let, me, let me test out John. Let me test out John. Once again, you're getting a recommendation. You're getting a referral. And, you know, I, I see these videos like you need this one ticket, this one high income skill, such as copywriting or something like that. Let's say you're really good at copywriting, but you don't know how to get customers. Uh, you're not going to make any money. <laughs> it's like, so you need this collective there's five high income skills to really make money and you need to be good at a minimum, good at all five. Now, if you're great at some of them, that's cool, but you need to be um, adequate in all five. And if you're adequate in all five, you can make a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money, all right? So, once again, Right now, we're doing the corporate papers. We're in week six. So right now, if you join the corporate papers today, you have six weeks of work to do. What are these six weeks composed of? Number one, creating your holding company. Number two, creating your operating company. And number three, and this is what we're working on. Last night, we had a live training, how to get customers. This is number one attention, getting qualified leads. This is the thing that will make or break your business. Now, I'm gonna be having discussions on what I do. I do what's called inbound leads. I don't do, I don't cold call. I don't call up anyone. I don't do any warm knocks. I just do inbound marketing to get people into my funnel. But we'll, that's an advanced strategy. That's a very advanced strategy. But once again, uh, if you join the corporate papers and you were a member of the corporate toolbox, you're going to get all that for free. That's coming up. And if you join the corporate papers and when I get into that, because essentially what I tell you about presentations, it's a, it's a sequence. There's the open, there's the body, there's the close, right? I'm giving you the business game in a sequence. Start your operating company, start your, start your holding company, start your operating company. Get the first customers for your first operating company. And you, you cannot just like skip over these steps. You, you got to actually do them step by step because that's going to create the synergy of your business. So right now, go below, get into the corporate papers. The price goes up. October 1st and you can get in and you can start working on your corporate empire because here's the thing guys it's going to take you two to three years like the part that we're working on literally I, I've like right now I am the only one on YouTube who's showing you 
how to start an active business by actually taking what I am teaching you and deploying it. And right now, I'm starting a car rental business and I have spent the last four months collecting data and running experiments. The same thing I'm gonna teach you because uh, this morning I was thinking about it and it's like, okay, we gotta work on pricing structure because if I can get more, you know, higher utilization, most of my cars consistently rent it, I will make more money. And uh, that's what I'm working on. So I'm gonna teach you all of that because I am actually doing it. I'm actually doing it. I'm actually building a business off of YouTube to show you guys that this stuff will work. Uh, last month I did 21,500 bucks. This month my goal is 30,000. And next month my goal will be 40,000. Cause you know, I, honestly I will tell you, I did this with literally half my cars rented. Because I, last month I ran into a situation where I could not rent all my cars. I had uh, four cars and I had two cars that were wrecked. I had a car sitting in the parking lot because I didn't have the GPS on them. So there, there was a whole bunch of little issues that I'm taking this month to solve. And I'm going to break all that stuff down because the things that I'm doing with the car rental business in terms of you know, the testing and the collecting of data, that right there will, is applicable to any business. Any business, because without customers, you don't have a business, man. You don't have a business, so I'm gonna teach you by showing you, and because who else is doing this? Many people on YouTube will sell you a course, and I'm not gonna say it's a bad course, because I don't know, I haven't taken it, but how many of them are actually showing you that what they're teaching you is actually working by starting a business from scratch? So go below, get the corporate papers, use promo code AUGUST, hit that link below, and I will see you guys in the next video.